All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing in this video, which is to change the way that we scale objects in augmented reality. In the previous video, I showed you we could do a scaling by changing the slider. But the way that I implemented the scaling is that it happens on an object basis. So I had one of my subscribers ask me, tell me, can we scale the entire scene, basically all the components that make up the AR experience? And it's actually pretty easy to do, and that's how I started working on it. And then I realized that I wanted to do it independently for each object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a property to the implementation that we have. And that implementation is just going to basically allow you to resize and scale the entire, the entire scene versus independent objects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these intact because I want you to be able to use this. But I'm going to clone it and then... I'm going to also rename this one as well. So this one is going to be more of a per object basis. The other one is going to be entire, basically the entire area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into scenes and we're going to, we're going to change this. It's going to be a scaling per object. We're going to say per object. And then what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and clone this. And then this one is going to be per area. And by area, I mean if we have multiple AR objects, everything is going to be scale as well. So I'm just going to double click on the per area, and this is the one that we're going to be focusing on. There's not going to be a lot of code. It's just going to be a few changes on the, on the script. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to go to Assets, Open C Sharp Project, and I'm going to show you what controls that. Let me just close others and just focus on the script. And then I'm just going to go much bigger so you can see everything. So if you remember from my previous video, I am checking, basically the slider is the one that is sending an event and this is the event with the new value. I'm also making sure that the last object is not null and the last selected object is selected. So this is actually the same property. And then if, the, if it is selected, then I grab that object and I scale it. So if we wanna do the entire area, normally objects go into what's called the AR session origin. And as you're adding objects and things are getting a scale, the, what they recommend you do, and when I say they, I mean Unity, is that you scale the AR session origin. And as you scale that, it's going to be scaling everything that is seen through the AR camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new property here. Let's go ahead and go to the very top. And we can look and see where we have the slider and make sure that we put it we put it right next to it. So just gonna there we go. So we have it here. And this is more for, you know, these are gonna be the scaling, kind of like the scaling options. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do it right on the top. This one is gonna say, let's see if we can call it something that makes sense. Uh, we can say apply a scaling per object. And then we can say false by default. And what that means is if it's set to true, we're going to be applying what we have right now. If it's set to false, we're going to be applying a scale on the AR session origin. So I'm going to just serialize that. And then we're going to go down here. And I'm going to, I also need to do one more thing. Let me make sure that I, it looks like I don't have a reference to the AR session origin. So we're going to have to add that as well. So let's go ahead and do it right here where we're dealing with components for the AR foundation. So we're going to do AR session origin, AR session origin. And then I also need to do the same thing that I'm doing with the other component. So we're going to have to get it, get component, and then AR session origin. Perfect. And the reason why I can do get component is because the get component, if we go here, and I, let me make sure that that's accurate, make sure that the get component it's going to give us what we need. And it is going to give us what we need because the AR session origin is the one that holds the AR session origin component and also holds the script that we're working on right now. So so we should be good to go. So if I go back down here, and the other thing that I that I just realized is we need to so remember the other the other scene that I created was you know, it had it basically was applying things per object. So we're gonna have to go to go to that scene and, and set this and set it to true. Otherwise it's not gonna work. But I think false is great because most people are looking for the entire area to be scale. 
All right, so now that we know that this is going to work and also that we're getting that component, the what I'm going to do is I'm going to change some of this implementation. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to say, okay, if a scale, and let me make sure that I pull the right property. I don't even remember what I call it. I think I need a coffee right now. Okay, so it's the apply. So let's go back here, and I'm going to say if apply scaling per object is set to true we're going to do what we're doing right now i think that's that's going to stay the same otherwise we're going to apply a scale on the entire on the entire area so and what i'm going to do for that it's basically going to grab we're going to do exactly what we're doing here except we're going to need to do it on the ar session origin so i'm just going to change the object that we're doing it on so we're going to say ar session origin we're going to grab, and we don't need to do the pairing, we're going to do, just do that object. And then we're going to apply a local scale with a vector 1 times the, the new value that we're passing in. So we don't need another curly brace here. Just, just clean up this code. And then that's everything, honestly, that you need to do if you want to accomplish what I just showed you. The, the other thing that I could do later on is add a new option here to the scale. That way, if we are changing the scale, then and then it's per object, then we can decide, okay, do we want to do it per object? Do we don't want to do it per object? That way we can control it to the UI. For now, we're just going to control it to the inspector, and then I think that's going to work. The other thing that I think I need to do before I wrap this up is we need to change the value of the scale. So let's go ahead and do that because I, I don't like that having the word zero. So we need to just be bringing in another property here. It's going to be text. And we can just say this is going to be the, the scale tag text value. And then we're also going to make it serializable. And I'm going to have to associate this in the other scene as well. So perfect. And then the only thing that I need to do here is, I know this is going to apply for both. So I can just do it like this. And I know that the format that I want is going to be a scale and then I want to just show the new value. So let's go ahead and do that so that we know the value of the scale at any point. And then that should be everything there. And then lastly, I just need to associate that UI component to our script so that everything just maps and work. So if I go here, I need to grab the scale header, which is what I call it here. And I'm just thinking if I should call it, let me just call it, I think I think that's fine, a scale header is fine. And let me go into the, okay, so everything here should work. We're good to go, and this is the per, per area. Now if we go and grab the per object, let me double click that. The only thing that I need to do here is associate the new UI component to the property that we expose. So I need to go into toggle options, actually options, a scale header and then associate that. The other thing that I need to do, this one is gonna be the one per object, so I need to set this to true. Otherwise, it's, it's gonna do basically an entire area instead of a per object scaling. So, and then lastly, let's see, this one is gonna be drag and drop to scale to allow, and I think I think it's fine. I was gonna change the, the comments. I think we're good to go. So that's everything that I wanted to show you on this session, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.